Oh, you don't, you don't yeah. want the mic? No, he doesn't no, want the mic. Because you know, you know they'll edit up your clips. No, 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 if, no, if it's on a Christian yeah. channel, it'll be no, a more no, fair Christian. representation. Slow, he doesn't want your... Is that Christian? You're a Christian, yeah? Yeah, he's yeah, Christian, yeah, yeah. but he doesn't oh. want your mic. Oh, I know you, so yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with him. <laughs> okay, cool. By the way, they do edit the clips. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to the... <laughs> yes, so Kofeli, don't, don't edit the, the video either. Okay. The, the problem with your argument is that, number one, I don't think you really want to... Sorry, do you mind? Yeah. Just having one line of thought? Yeah. It's just, it's yeah, just yeah, easier yeah. that way. Okay, so let's go back to Philippians 2.7, yeah? Yeah. What do you understand when it says he emptied himself? What I do you understand by that? I understand that it says he humbled himself. Yeah, it depends on which translation you read. Yeah. But there are many translations which say he emptied himself. What did he empty himself of? Um, I think he emptied himself of putting his own will first. For example, in the Garden of Gethsemane, the son goes to pray to the father, he gets onto his knees and he prays, and he says, God, if there's any other way, please please make make another way for me to for me to create this opportunity of salvation. So Jesus, Jesus doesn't want to go to the cross, so he, he asks the father, if there's any other way, take this cup from me, he says. He says, take this cup from me. Um, but in the end, he comes to the realization that there's no other way. He has to come to the cross, and from there it says he set his face. He set his face um, to Jerusalem, to Calvary. That's nothing. Um, but, well, nothing but to, but to do answer your question, himself. oh, I thought you didn't like interruptions. Like so, to, to to answer the question, the sense in which Jesus humbled himself, he humbles his will, because like you and me, he didn't want to die on the cross, but he understood it was the will of the Father that he should die on the cross. No, but that's so got that's nothing to do with emptying himself. himself. It, says it has he everything himself. to do with what it. Does he, what did he empty himself of? He humbled himself. Okay, you see, you like using the term humble? Yes. Do you know there are many translations which say he emptied himself? Okay. Okay, when you humble yourself Maybe. during incarnation, or empty yourself during incarnation, yeah. what does it mean? Did you lose any attributes that would actually be an attribute of God? Yeah. Divine attributes? Did Jesus lose any divine attributes? So if you refer to the answer that I gave you just now, it doesn't follow. At all. I would consider that this conversation is valuable. No, no, no. If you don't refer to the point I've made at all, actually, you don't refer in, to Philippians two seven. What do you refer to? Yeah, so else? I made a point referring to will and the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah, but yeah? Philippians two seven has got nothing to do with his will. The will I mentioned. No, was I'm in John explaining 5, it. I'm explaining it. The will was in John five thirty, which you still haven't answered. How I'm explaining someone... it based on Gethsemane. Gethsemane okay. is a central point in the Christian story. What happens it, it in leads Gethsemane? Right up to the cross. No problem. I'll in, go in there. Gethsemane, please come back to Philippians 2 7. What happens yeah. in Gethsemane? I'm, I'm using Gethsemane to answer Philippians 2 7. Actually, it doesn't answer, but carry on. It does. It does. Okay, in, in this case, you seem like you don't need to talk to me because you're not accepting any of the points that I'm making. So I'm you're making. saying, so unless I accept why, your why argument... Is it, but why is it valuable to your time to talk to me if you don't actually interact with any of the points that I built? Why is that a valuable no, no, use wait, of wait. your Do time? Do I need to accept the points that you, you make? You can don't, I, you can don't I not need counter to, it? But like a conversation is normally like a collaborative effort yeah. between two sentient people right. who like listen to each other whilst the conversation is developing and that's that's a normal conversation okay so yeah? what you're saying is when i say in philippians 2 7 yeah did you answer the question what did he empty himself of yeah you will about, will no, will he, yes yes did he have yeah, his will go or? back go back and see that i talk about will you let me finish so jesus empties himself uh, of let me will. ask the question yeah about the will yeah so when you say he emptied did he empty his will is that what you're saying he, he sort of put aside his own will. So which will did he operate with in the, on earth? Well, people have free will. Yeah. Did Jesus have and I, I can sometimes, if I was to act on my will now, I'd probably go and just have a cup of tea and, and relax. My friend, okay? what will did so he operate with? So that's my will. Your will is more to have this Let's conversation. Let's talk about Jesus' will. And right now I'm entertaining your will. So, so, so it's an example that people can put down their will if they choose. Put down their will? Yeah. What does that even mean in, in English? It, me, it means doing what they want, right? No, like, that is so your free will. will. 
your will is what you want. But that is free will. Yes. So are you saying Jesus emptied his free will? No, Jesus put the will of the Father uh -huh. above his own immediate will and desire. So what was his will before he incarnated? His will was the same as the Father's will? I'm just talking about Gethsemane. I know, but look, I'm talking about yeah. Philippians 2, 7, which talks about his incarnation as a man. That's why he yeah. became lower than the angels. That's why he became a humble servant. That's why yeah. he emptied himself. You're not connecting the two. That's a problem. What, where's the lack of connection? I'm the just, lack I'm, of connection. I'm talking about will. Okay. Will is the point of connection. But I wasn't talking about will. You brought in will. But even well, that you is asked will. me a question. So why did you ask me a question okay. if you didn't want to talk Once to again, me? Once again, let me remind you. What <laughs> was my question? Let's see if you yeah. remember. What was my question? With regards to Philippians 2. Let's see if you remember that. How did Jesus empty himself is your question. No, my, my question that was, was your question. Hold on. I'll remind you what the question was. We'll go what back did, and check. What did yeah. he empty himself of? That was my question. Yeah. What did he empty himself of? Free will? Is that what his, you're saying? No. His will. You're an intelligent man, yeah? You're an intelligent man. And you've, you've heard the things that I've said. You're now behaving in a not very intelligent way. No need to be you, condescending because you lost the argument. You're now behaving in a not very no intelligent way. No need to be condescending because you, you lost the argument. You understand that someone's will is what they want to do and then if you if you did empty he lose yourself his, of did will, he empty his free will or not? That's allowing, a question. No, you've changed it to you've put in this word free. Okay, did so he I've lose said his the will? word will multiple times. I'm just going to stick to one word in this conversation Which because is? it seems that more than one word is hard for you. Will. So, so will is the word. I'm not talking about free will. Dude, yeah? you don't you're need to go, You're going into a free will okay. debate. The reason why I'm Which being will are you talking I'm about? Not the free get will. annoyed about you. You're getting triggered because, because you're, you got you're caught starting, out. I'm not, I'm not getting You are getting triggered. triggered. I'm getting being angry. firm with you. No, you're not. Because if, if people are not firm you're with you, then you steer, and you you steer the conversation that, once into, again, into wrong ways. And I, I don't enjoy these kinds of interactions. I know, because when so you come I'm to, talking about will. You're getting angry. I'm now. talking about will. Yeah. One Raising word, your voice. I can. I'm talking about one word, will. I'm okay. not talking about free will. You're trying to put words into my mouth. So I'm, I'm spitting them out because I don't like that. Let's bring the energies you know? down. I don't like that. Shall Nobody bring the energies down? One second. When you talk about will, is it different to free will? Yes. Okay, what's the difference? What? So, in Gethsemane, it's the context in which I'm speaking. I'm speaking about will within the context of Gethsemane. Jesus goes to the Father asking not to go to the cross. It is Jesus' will to not die because it's painful and dying on a cross is a terrible what's way to die. What's the difference between will and free will? That's a question. Yeah. So. Jesus has personal agency and his agency will be demonstrated here. Even though he himself doesn't want to go to the cross, he, he discerns, he understands that the Father wants him to go to the cross. So he uses his free will, he uses his agency to, to put down his own personal will. His own, yeah? No, that's, that's why I get angry, I'll get angry again. I'm talking about will. Angry? I'm talking about will. When I say will, you say free will. What's the difference? Yeah? I'm asking you what's the difference. I'm trying to you still explain. haven't answered. I'm trying to explain, but within my explanation, you seem to want to say the word free no, I yeah, when I say the word the will. Can I just ban you for two minutes from using the word free and then I'll find it much easier to explain what well, I'm you saying. Can't ban, but you can try. Can you, can you abstain from that word? Yeah. Okay, so Jesus, he lays, he lays down, he lays down his primary desire. His primary desire is not to go to the cross and, and not to die, okay? But he understands that, that that is the Father's will for him. So that's where someone can have a will, their own personal desire, but they can, they can submit their own desire to, to a, a, greater, a greater good or a greater cause. Mm -hmm. And that is what Philippians 2, 7 explains. Okay. And that is why I believe in a Trinitarian God. Okay. No problem. Okay. No problem. What's your name, by the way? My name is Hashim. Hashim. Yeah. Good to see you again, I suppose. I say good. I'm not sure it's that good. But yeah, my name is Jamie. Jamie. Okay. Yeah. Jamie. Yeah. Just without the Bible, without anything, just a term in English. Yeah. What does the term free will mean? The, the general term free will, it means agency, like we have the ability to choose. Okay, your yeah. own volition, yeah? Yes. Would you say that? Did Jesus yes. have his own volition? When he decided yes. not to go to the, sorry, when he prayed to his, to his God, not to go to the cross, even though God wanted him to go to the cross. So their wills are not in sync. Is that what you're telling me? So Jesus, oh, 
Jesus, Jesus had a conversation, which is something that I think that you find hard to do. So within the Godhead, there can be... I don't know why you're doing that with the umbrella. But within the Godhead, there can be conversation because there are different persons within the Godhead. So this is what you would expect within a Trinitarian Godhead. Do they have the same will or different wills? Bro, please, bro, please. No, 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 please, please, hold on. Do they have the same will or different wills? The Father, when Jesus did not want to go to the cross, and he was literally begging his God on his face, if praying to the Father, possible, stop interrupting. Like, if it's, if stop interrupting, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Right okay, so when Jesus did not will to go to the cross, even though the Father wanted him to die on the cross, are you telling me that the Father's will is not in sync with the will of Jesus? He said, if it's, not, if it's possible, take yeah. this cup from me. Hush, it's not raining in the morning. And he said, it's okay, I like my umbrella. Sure. Yeah. He said, yeah, not my will be done, your will be done. And then it says that he went to the cross because of the joy that was set before him. See, so if you're going to have a discussion, you've got to bring all of it. Did in. you hear my question? Because I'm just... Yeah, you're trying, to say, you're trying to say that the will of... Yeah. Are they the same? Jesus the and the will... Of of God. Yeah. Well, within within the Gethsemane discourse between the Son and the Father, mm -hmm. we can say that clearly in the end the wills were the same. Not in the end. At that time when Jesus was putting his face on the floor and praying to God, so saying, in, yeah. take, take this cup away from me. Yes, if it yeah. is your will, let it be done. Yeah. Yes, not my will. So when Jesus said that, the question is this. Did he, is the will of Jesus and the Father the same? Because he's clearly saying, if it is your will, take it away, not my will. So he's making a distinction between his will and the will of the Father. So the question is, did Jesus have the same will as the Father? So in the end, there was the same, there was the same, they come to a place of agreement didn't they? No. Because in the end he said, not, I'm not, about the end. I'm not, the my, not my personal I'm human the will. Mate. Yeah. I'm talking about the start. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. At the start, when Jesus is praying, did they have the same will? He, when he said, let it be your will be done, not my will. Did they have the same wills? Well, he has... Yeah, if you if there are three different Christians who want to help this gentleman. Yeah, I mean, Jesus you know, has two wills. Can you not yeah. answer so yourself? There's a divine will yeah. and a human will. Yeah. So okay. which one he emptied? So, so the I'll question just, is, which one empty? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't want to you talk to you. Do you not get oh, the right, message? Right. All right. Okay. You so just you can have a will. yeah. I want to talk to one person, not three, okay. not the Trinity or the okay. Quadrinity. So just just out of out of fairness, I'll refer to things which I've already said. Yeah. So Jesus, in his humanity mm -hmm. and in his distinct personhood, yeah. has has his own desires and his own will. But he, he always subjects and he checks his own desires and his own will which against one? the will of the Father. Yeah. Yeah. So which and one is he operating on? That's good to do. When, which one is he operating? When Jesus said, let yeah. it be your will be done, not my will. Which one is the will that Jesus is operating So within, and, and which is yeah. the one that he emptied? Because you said he emptied his will. Do you remember that? So he emptied... Taking him. you back to Philippians 2.7. You yeah. said he emptied his will. So tell me which will did he empty but I, and which I, is the one that into, he's operating on? I went into detail about the nature in which he empties himself as well. So Jesus wanted to do one thing, the Father wanted him to do another exactly, thing. Exactly, which means they don't yeah. have the same will. Well, in the end, Jesus decided to agree with the Jesus will of the no Father. Choice. Jesus of course had he no had a choice. Because, you know, when you of pray, I'll tell you what, look, when you pray... Of course he had a choice. James, let me make a point. No, there's an assertion. No point repeating why, okay. yourself. Why do you say Jesus had no choice? I was just going to say why before you, say? you started repeating yourself. Okay. So here's the thing. When you make when you pray to God, let's yeah. say you want a child. You don't have a child, yeah? Okay. For the sake of argument. And yeah. you want a child, you pray to God to bless you with a child. Yes? Yeah. At the end of the prayer, you say, let it be your will be done, not my will. Mm. Okay? Okay. Ultimately, who decides whether you have a child or not? Is it mm. God or you? Well, we're in partnership. No, you're not. Why not? You'll be doing shirk, major shirk. <laughs> I don't know if what that think, means. If you think you're in partnership with God, are you considering yeah. yourself equal to God? No, but like, what kind of partnership is that? Well, like in in, in my partnership, in my partnership with my employer, my employer yes. is in charge within that partnership. Thank you. So it's possible to have partnerships where there's yeah. one who is junior so who is in charge? and one who is senior. Who is in charge when God grants you or does not grant you the prayers that you wished for? Mm. Who is in charge? 
Just like the way your boss is in charge of deciding what you get or what you don't. Yeah. Yes. So you can look. You can tell your boss, please give me a bonus this year. Yeah. Okay. But ultimately, he's the one who decides. Yeah. So who is in charge? Okay. At this point, I I am happy that I have explained what's going on in Philippines no, you and what's going on in you the garden of, of, of Gethsemane. Okay. Well, even if I'm failed miserably, in your opinion, in fact, I'm, you told I'm happy. Me, in fact, you I'm told happy me, with what I've explained. Did he not say he emptied his will? Yeah. Which will you still haven't answered? Which will I've, did I've Jesus empty? That. Tell him his human okay. volition. He emptied it. The fact that is his human his human volition is distinct from the divine volition. Which one did the he empty? Volition, That's a question. The divine volition. Yeah. The divine volition is the so one is that the Father, the, the, Son, and the Holy Spirit the shares. So yeah. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit shares one divine volition. Okay. And Jesus Christ, in taking upon because a human nature, Jesus, has his own distinct human he volition. God, yeah. Now, when he left the human nature, he went back How to the can divine God volition pray that he to God? with the Father. Yeah. And that too on his forehead. So, Thank you, man. And God yeah. doesn't so, need to pray. So, you know? Yeah. Because if he, he was God, for you, yeah. Concert. Okay. So, let's, so, in my humble estimation, yeah. I basically said what that guy said, but no, just with less clever words. I didn't words. even hear what he said. He's just babbling. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I you mean, should speak to him. To so, what? Oh, we would love to talk to him. If you understood, he's probably more on your level. If you understood this, we would love to talk to him. The question is this: Which will, according to you, did he empty? Because you said he emptied his will. What he said. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. Well, you talk to him then. His human will. So he didn't have a human will. He does. He emptied. He does. He emptied. He does. He emptied himself in Rome, jokers. not ontology. Don't put your. Don't put your. Okay. Don't put your. Okay. Also, okay. Also, okay. Also, okay. Also, okay. Also, okay. Sorry. 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 I didn't mean to. Can you, what? Can you talk what to us? What do you think? If we're jokers. What do you think? I don't talk to jokers. Oh. oh yes. Okay. I see. Okay. So, so what's happening here? I think we can look. If you think he emptied his human will, if you still think he emptied his human will, that means Jesus was not human or not. So what's happening here? You guys believe in To my left. Okay. To my left and to my right. Yeah. There are more Welcome able to debaters. Yeah, I'm sorry. To my left and to my right, there are more <laughs> able. Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? I don't need to. Why don't you talk to them? Why are you running? Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Give us the same argument you gave him. If you talk to them, I'll listen. Why don't you no, no. Hey, I would they can watch the video. They can watch the video. Why don't you talk to them? Stop to the Thomas. I don't talk to clowns. Stop to the Thomas. Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Watch this. Watch. Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Come, come, come. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? See, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call the Dharma Day. Christians, oh, 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 that haven't studied Christology, that haven't studied the wheels of Christ in the Incarnation, okay. and that's why Hashem is running. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to Christians, oh, okay, okay. he's running. So he doesn't want to talk to the Roman Catholics. Oh, he's showing okay. his face, I can cook him. That's it, you want to cook us? I don't know. Anyway, brother, so do a quick wrap up on that conversation. So what are you trying to achieve? What happened there? Okay, well, um, in that in that conversation, I tried to achieve just a chilled out afternoon. <laughs> I didn't really want to get into a big debate, um, but yeah, no, Hashim wanted to get into a debate about the Trinity, uh, so I talked about Philippians two. Um, I felt that Hashim tried to put words into my mouth um, about about uh, will, free will. I felt that I explained it well. Shut up, bro. Go yeah. away, man. You preach a false wait, gospel. Wait, wait, wait. Respect, Jesus is not the Messiah. Go away, bro. Go away, go away, bro. bro. Yeah. No, no. I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh and Yahshua. I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh and Yahshua. I rebuke you in the name of So. Oh. Hey, oh. Get your hand off me, bro. Relax. Don't touch me. Hey, anyway, yeah. I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh and Yeshua. So anyway, there you go. That's about it. Let's move away. Don't touch me. Okay. Okay, bro, sorry about that. So what happened there with Hashim? What the conversation you have with him? Okay, so... Take two. Yeah, so, so, so in the conversation, uh, Hashim wanted to talk to me about the Trinity, um, which he also did about four years ago. So I started to look at Philippians chapter 2, where Jesus um, humbles himself 
and uh, takes on the position of a servant, making himself obedient to death, even death on a cross. Um, and Hashim was talking all about will. Um, I felt that Hashim tried to deliberately misunderstand what I was saying several times. So I basically tried to end the conversation early because I don't see it to be a very valuable um, way to spend time. Um, but then after that, a couple of more experienced Christians came to Hashim and they, they provided the kind of technical, well-researched answers which I was trying to get towards. And then at that point, Hashim uh, ran, which I believe is called the Darwadash. So anyway, that's it. God is good. Can, can I just yeah. like, help you with yeah. what he said? Yeah, fine, man. So um, just really briefly, right? He tried tripping you up on the wills of Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the problem is we have to actually understand in the incarnation what it means for Christ to have a human will and a divine will, right? Yeah, so yeah, St. Yeah. Thomas Aquinas actually gives a refutation of his very same argument in the Summa Theologiae. I can't remember the exact uh, part of the Summa in the question right now, yeah. but if you can find it, JC, link it in the description, it's very good. So basically, the human will is yeah. composed of two, two faculties of the will, right? There's the sensitive and the rational, right? Yeah. Now, our sensitive will is basically inclined towards emotions and passions yeah. and things like this. Now, Jesus, of course, had the freedom to fill whatever he wanted as being fully man with yeah. the sensitive faculty of his will. For example, Christ suffered on the cross, etc. Yeah. Yeah. However, Jesus is fully beatified by God's grace, meaning that he couldn't will anything sinful in his passions. However, for Jesus' rational will, the first um, principle of that is the divine will, so that he couldn't contradict anything that the divine will wills rationally in Christ, yeah. which is the answer to that. So the answer is just to simply understand what we mean in the incarnation when Jesus has a fully human and a uh, fully divine will, because otherwise he wouldn't be fully man or he wouldn't be fully, fully God. God yeah. But Hashim yeah. doesn't understand that because what he wants to do is yeah. he wants to try and get you into the most nitty gritty yeah. ideas of Trinitarian doctrine and try to yeah. trip you up. Now, this is what Islamic apologetics is at Speaker's Corner. Say, it's on, a game on, of on I Hashim, gotcha. Yeah. On Hashim, I find that he's an intelligent man and it seems to me that he becomes, um, you know, markedly unintelligent when trying to understand the Trinity. And I think yes. that that is curious. Yeah, exactly. So for, for example, any nuance that you give to these people about yeah. the Trinity, they're going to forget it five minutes later <laughs> because any conversation that they try to give, any argument that they give against the Trinity yeah. is going to be a straw man version of it. They have to misunderstand the Trinity yeah. in order to give an argument against it. For example, yeah. every five seconds, I will tell Hashim and Mansour, that God can function as a noun for any of the Trinitarian persons or yep. the divine essence. Yep. Which is why the first line of the Nicene Creed is we believe in one God, the Father. Yep, it's, an, it's a noun referring to the Father, not to exclude the other persons of the Trinity. No. Now, when the Bible uses terms like Jesus sits at the right hand side of the Father, yep. every Muslim in this park will use that scripture. But anytime we give them that nuance that the word God there refers to the uh, father as a noun for the person, they will forget that and then just move on to the next person and use it. So this is the uphill battle that we're facing in Speaker's Corner. The reason why they want to run away from people is because if they debate you once and then they know that you know about the Trinity, they'll run away to try and find someone who doesn't so they can post clips on YouTube about it. Yeah. That's the unfortunate nature of how it is out here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've been here 20, 25 years and there's um, the same people that are here over and over again. And you're not going to get, well, you may not get through because they're so stubborn and so yeah. holding on to what they believe. So they're not yeah. even approaching anything that is said with an open heart. And I think anyone that's preaching Christianity here needs to just make the decision on yeah. whether they're going to get drawn in uh, um, into what they're saying. Because you can spend so much time with these guys, they'll bounce from one place to another. So, yeah, it just needs wisdom, I think, in a place like this. Uh, Here's what I would say, right? When I debate people like Mansour, Hashim, Siraj, etc., Paul Williams, I'm not debating them because I think I'm going to change their mind. <laughs> Even though it that's would ultimately yeah. be God that would change their mind, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm debating them because I think that the people watching at home will hopefully see things from a new perspective yeah. and understand the Christian doctrine deeper. 
because ultimately they have closed ears to what we're saying at Speaker's Corner and it's evident in the way that they argue because they don't take into account any nuance for doctrine. Yeah, yeah. And that's fine. But what we can do is refute the lies on camera to show the people at home, hey, these guys are just lying about it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Sounds Amen. good. Okay. Yeah, thanks, well, guys. With, thank, thank you very much. What's yeah. your name, by the way? I'm, I'm Jamie. Jamie, nice oh, yeah. to meet you. I'm Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Nice to meet you. I'm as well. Okay, well, with that being said, guys, I'm Thomas Apologia. If you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe at Thomas Apologia. This is Critical Thomas. You can subscribe on YouTube at... Yeah. Critical Thomas, innit? Critical Thomas, innit? <laughs> All right, God bless. Subscribe, yeah, I just did. But we can big it up again. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to Thomas Apologia, Critical Thomas. Yeah, subscribe at Critical Thomas. My YouTube. Okay, with that being said, God bless you all.